Well, today is the 3rd of March. It's, uh, oh, good grief, I don't know what time it is, but, well, because it is the uh, 3rd of March, it's very early spring, and I'm expecting the tree swallows to be arriving in about two weeks, and, uh, it's time to, uh, fire up the house sparrow traps and what we got here is a lovely male house sparrow caught in this trap here and what we're going to do is we're going to remove them we're going to remove them and I'm going to have to put this down real fast and uh, squeeze my hand in here and Take them out. Okay. So we got them. All right. So this is what we're going to do. Here's a male house sparrow. Uh, male house sparrows, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, it's pretty easy to tell a male house sparrow from any other species. Uh, invasive species from Europe. Um, old world Actually, Old World Weaving Finch, that's what family they're actually in. They're actually not sparrows, per se, but we call them that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I deal with them. This guy's going in my trap. He is going to be a lure, and he is going to bring lots of his, lots of his uh, brothers and sisters into that trap. What I'm going to do is clip his wings, so in case he ever gets out of the, out of the trap cage, he can't fly. These outer feathers the ones on the ends here are called primary flight feathers we are going to cut those get a pair of scissors just like that this guy won't uh he, he might be able to fly but he won't be able to fly very well and you know a bird that can't fly um, doesn't survive long so anyway we're going to grab them just like this and then we're going to uh Put him up into the trap, into the house sparrow trap. He is the first catch of the 20, 21 season. There's his water. Um, I'll put a piece of bread back here. Uh, this trap here will catch him. And there's a few that have uh, been overwintering in the neighbor's pine trees. And we're going to be um, making short work of them real, 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 real soon. So, um, I got to feed this guy, but uh, and he's got shelter. He can go right through that little hole in the, in the shed there. And uh, he will be fine. Um, is this cruel? I don't give a damn what anybody says. If you ever had to deal with um, these things killing your bluebirds, killing tree swallows, killing chickadees. God, that's one of the worst ones to me. And busting up the purple martin eggs. You, you, you don't have any love for them. There's too many soft-hearted people around that just don't get it. Uh, please, please, please do not get into bluebirds. Do not get into tree swallows. Do not get into purple martins. If you cannot deal with these pests in the proper manner, you can't scare them away. You can't. The only way to deal with them is to eradicate them. Eradicate them with extreme prejudice. So, um, I hope this helps somebody. Just Even just clipping the feathers like that. It's a good way to, to ground the bird. Till next time.